Welcome to Guitar Paddle Hubs, only bangers. Where I recommend only bangers. Today's album is Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Invention, One Size Fits All, 1975. This album is a masterpiece, first of all. Secondly, it contains one of the greatest guitar solos I have ever heard. Now, if you're not a Zappa fan, which it was that that was me for uh, I think you know most of my life. It took a lot of patience, a lot of you know discipline to start appreciating Frank Zappa. So if you're in that uh, spot in your Frank Zappa journey, don't give up. You know you have to understand that Frank Zappa was a contrarian by nature. In, in all facets of, of, of his life, you know, musically, personally. So he intentionally made very difficult music to listen to. It's very complex. And even the studio, you know, session musicians he worked with, they would have to, they were professional, you know, they were the best of the best. And they would still have to practice relentlessly uh, to play with Zappa. And I, love, I particularly love this album because you have George Duke in Sins and Keys, one, you know, George Duke, you know, I mean, what is there to say, right? And also, what's his, Chester Thompson, the drummer, uh, he's so good and he later played for Weather Report, I believe. So, you know, you have these guys that are incredible mu musicians, some of the best, really, and then Frank Zappa, the genius of, of Frank Zappa. Um, so yeah, don't, don't give up on understanding Zappa and, you know, I know the set, the satire, the lyrics are a bit, you know, a bit difficult to get used to, but I will say this though, Bobby Brown, not on this album, but it's by Frank Zappa. Bobby Brown honestly reflects the American cultural landscape better than any critical, you know, analysis of, of, of anyone, really. Like, there are, there is some truth to a lot of his, you know, lyrics. And that was just the kind of, of person Frank Zappa was. He's, he was just incredibly intelligent. Um, and yeah, if there's one track that you have to listen to, and if, if you're going to come up with a definition of what is a face-melting guitar solo? Like, what, what, what is a face-melting guitar solo? What are those components that melt your face? It is the guitar solo in Pajama People, track number four, I believe. Yeah, four. Um, that's the one track you have to listen to. If you're, if you're gonna not listen to this whole masterpiece, at least listen to the entire solo of Pajama People. His tone, the distortion, that that subtle wall, the you know the phrasing, the articulation, uh, it just melts your face. It, it it's impossible uh, to not melt your face if you listen to that. Really, every every time it hits me every time. Um, so yeah, this is today's only banger um, album, and if you liked. Uh, the content, please subscribe. It helps the channel immensely. And also leave a comment. I read every single one. Um, and I love learning from you guys. So give me more music facts about this or anything else related to this. Um, I really, really am doing this just to learn more from you guys. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week.